Hello everyone, this is Batnavati. I am going to prepare a mixed vegetable gravy which is offered on Thiruvadri festival to Lord Shiva which has a lot of medicine values. Before cooking, there are few preparation things which I am going to do. First, I soak Vringal gram and red gram, 2 tablespoon and 1 tablespoon each in water well in advance before cooking and I also add a few groundnuts to add a flavor to it. So, I am soaking that and I am mixing uh, to blend it in water and now I lighter the stove and keep a cooker on the stove. I am going to boil this soaked sprouts into this cooker so that uh, we can wait for 5 whistles to the sprouts to become more smooth enough to bite. So I am taking water and I am going to add 2 glasses that is 300 ml of water to it. After successfully adding required amount of water into the cooker which would soak the ingredients which we are going to add now. So now I am adding the mixture of Bengal gram, red gram and groundnut to this cooker filled with water. So these three have been soaked in water by me for three hours. So I did this well in advance before I started cooking. So you should also make this well this ad well in advance so that these three, the uh, grams, uh, red, red grams and Bengal gram and groundnut will become more soft enough uh, which shoots your gravy more. So I added successfully all those three things. Now I am closing the vessel that is closing the cooker. It is a little bit uh, hard to close but I did that. Yeah, now I am putting the whistle on it. Vegetables. Yeah, your guess is right. We are going to chop these vegetables one by one. For this dish, we require minimum 5 or 7 or 9 vegetables. It is up to your availability and requirement. Since I am having only 5 vegetables in my kitchen, so I am going to make use of these 5 different vegetables. So we, you can add also some other vegetables like potato or something. Whatever you want, you can add it to make your dish more flavorish. So it's up to your taste or as I told you, your requirement or availability. So here the vegetables which I am going to use in my dish are chayote squash. That is chow chow. Then carrot, then bringal, brinjal, then pumpkin and red pumpkin. Chopping off these vegetables is one of the easiest part of cooking. So I used to do this regularly to support my mother. So vegetables. When it comes to vegetables, children feel awkward and hesitant to eat these vegetables. So you can make it as a gravy as we are going to do uh, which would be more flavorish and tasty and the vegetables will also become more soft enough which make your uh, children eat without realizing that they are eating the vegetables right. So this is one of the technique which I am going to follow in my kitchen and you can also uh, try to make use of these things to make your children to eat vegetables and coming to this particular vegetable gravy mixed vegetable gravy which we are going to prepare this is usually prepared in combination with a dish called Tirvatri Kali which should taste sweet so when these two things combine definitely these two things will make the dish more yummy to eat and cutting of brinjal, you should be careful because when you cut the brinjal and keep it idle, it would like form a small black, black spots in it. So to, in order to avoid that, you can generally keep them in a water, like in a cup container with water to avoid making it dry. Okay. So then we can see the nutritional value of these vegetables which I have added to the dish. So they are first brinjal. It contains a good amount of vitamin, mineral and fiber content in that. Then carrot which controls your blood sugar level 
they are loaded with vitamin a content as you all know which is very good for your eyes and beta content which helps you to lower your diabetics and contains calcium and vitamin k so these calcium and vitamin k are important for bone health then comes to pumpkin and red pumpkin it increases your immunity and also you can eat them to uh, your weight loss also then comes to chayote which can help you to lower your cholesterol level reduce your inflammation inflammation and protect against uh, free radicals to reduce the risk of developing certain diseases such as heart diseases and cancer also so here we are not going to take any complicated ingredients these vegetables are available everywhere so wherever you go you can get these vegetables easily now the cooker is also uh, like gave whistle sounds so we can turn it off after five continuous whistles so next i am going to grate coconut so while i grate let's talk about why i choose this disease so tiruvadri festival is celebrated to commemorate god uh, commemorate plea of goddess uh, who used to regularly observe fast on the day of tiruvadri in the name of lord shiva pleaded him to heed the uh, heed to the plea of a newly married brahmin girl whose husband died uh, after their marriage to bless her by giving rebirth of the deceased on this day married women undergo fasting for the well being of a husband and unmarried girls undergo fasting for the well being of their future husband so uh, i choose this this is because it has a high nutritional value and also remembers our tradition nutritional dish and its importance so i wanted to make everyone aware of this fasting which myself and my mother undergo every year on the occasion of tiruvathrai now i listen to five whistle sound of cooker and i think i can turn off that and then i am again lightening up the stove now we are going to boil the vegetables so to boil i am going to add two tumblers of water to the vessel that is about 400 ml 350 to 400 ml of water which would i think it should be like in a quantity that uh, the vegetables which we add should be completely soaked in into okay so now uh, i can add the tamarind powder a, li- a little bit to the which can be half tablespoon and then Uh, we can add the vegetables which we have chopped already one by one the carrot uh, the uh, like uh, the brinjal and all other vegetables those vegetables should be a little bit bigger size uh, so that uh, like uh, gravy uh, it suits gravy only if the vegetables are in bigger size so before because we are going to boil them it would become more soft and easy to eat also and coming to brinjal we have kept it in a separate container uh, soaked in water so removing the water that is by drying the water into the vessel we just put that uh, dry brinjal into the container which we are going to boil and then i again i lighted the stove and i am going to keep another pan and going to dry it since we are going to fry something so i dried it oh this is one of the favorite vessel you know so in this vessel in this we are going to add one by one first bengal gram again uh, one tablespoon and red gram one tablespoon and coriander seed it's not coriander so it is coriander seed one tablespoon and after few minutes we can add pepper a few pepper you should not use more pepper a few pepper four to five pepper and then cumin cumin seeds to it and then we can blend them nicely after blending add 1 tablespoon of oil and then you can add five roasted dried chillies and curry leaf to it and the grated coconut which you already have 
you can add that too so i am adding the grated coconut so after adding grated coconut you can nicely blend them and you can turn off after few minutes after blending and mixing them nicely you, later you should cool them since we are going to keep it in a mixy uh, i am transferring it to another jar and i am going to blend it it should not be too powdery or it should not be too liquid so after blending you can just add it to your vegetables and then you can add just one tablespoon of salt to your vegetables now we can take the sprouts which we already like did uh, which we already have it in our cooker and we can nicely squash and stir those and we can add it to the vegetables and mix them nicely after this we are going to add the tamarind water so which we have already soaked in water right so only uh, like add the water alone to the vegetable and you can filter out the unwanted uh, tamarind uh, seeds and other things out of it and you can add alone the water and then you can add asafoetida for smell and then again i am lightening up the stove and i am keeping a container now we are going to fry so i am adding uh, oil two spoons and then mustard dal blend them well and if you add this it will like boil or something some sounds will come right so be careful while adding and you can fry it and then i add that uh, coriander leaves to that then i turned off that and now i am going to put this into the vegetable which i am having and yeah i did then after doing that blend nicely until these things are mixed and blend together so that everything taste same now we have successfully prepared our dish and then one more thing pending is the presentation that is we are going to add few curry leaves and coriander leaves and if you are having any other things for decoration you can also add that for a nice presentation so this is our dish so you can turn it off uh, turn uh, the stove and then you can add the coriander and curry leaves which should look very pretty yeah our dish is ready and this is our dish